Hello everyone, this is David and welcome to another two minute tip uh, for Microsoft Windows in the classroom. Um, I wanted to introduce you to the new splash screen that you're going to see when you log into Office 365. Uh, this is what it looks like. You log in and you'll see this new uh, dashboard, as I call it, uh, that you have access to in Office 365. And what you'll see is these nice tiles here uh, that are set up with all of the options or things that your district has turned on in your Office 365 instance. Uh, you'll see your Outlook, Calendar, People, OneDrive. Uh, if you have Yammer turned on and Sites and Tasks, you'll see all those. Um, but what's really nice is that you have access right here at the bottom, or the second row, of access to really jump right in and create a Word document, Excel, PowerPoint, or OneNote document. Uh, so I can go in and quickly just click on Excel and it automatically opens up um, an Excel online document. Uh, one of the things though you'll notice uh, that's kinda cool actually is that it opens up and it creates a document but look up here in the top section it actually created the document in a new tab which is very new. Um, by default if you're just going from OneDrive it opens it up in the same window. But it looks like when you use this dashboard it gives you the option and jumps it right up to a new tab so I can work in this environment and then I can go right back to my Office 365 tab and I have access to the dashboard again so if I wanted to create a, a second document or a third document I can do that and it will open up new tabs as I go through which is kind of a, a neat feature. The last thing you'll see in this page that is important to note is at the bottom part here where my finger is uh, it shows you how to install right from this front page um, Office onto any other device. So if you have the Student Advantage program at your site where the students can install up to five copies of Office on five different devices, uh, you can start from right there where it says install. Uh, you can also um, install right from a smartphone to a smartphone or an iPad when you click on Set Up Mobile Apps and it shows you how to start that process just by clicking on that link. So this is something new to everyone and uh, some new interesting features that they have set up. So I hope you have a great school year, and I hope you use this in your classroom tomorrow.